Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's take a look at the new versions feature in Lion. So the versions feature works pretty simply and if you're familiar with Time Machine it works with kind of the same interface. But it does change how things work. If you're used to save and save as as standard functions under the file menu, well it's different now in Lion. Let's take a look. So here I'm in Pages. I'm going to create a new document. Just choose a blank word processing document there. It's named Untitled as you can see at the top. And I could start typing in it. I'm going to type something very simple, just the word one. Now when I go to File, I notice things are different here now with versions. I've got Save, and I don't have a Save As. We've got some different things. Let's start with Save here. Since this is a brand new document, the first thing I need to do to get everything going is Save. So when you create a new document, Save almost immediately to get things going. This will ask you for a name, and I'm just going to name it something, save it at the desktop, like that. Now I can see it has a name up there. Now if I look on the left here, I've got close still, but save a version is command S. And there's no save or save as. So let's type another word. And now let's do file save a version or just command S. Now if I look here at the top under test the title, I can click on it and see I can lock duplicate or browse all versions. If I click browse all versions, it enters a time machine like interface where I can see my current document on the left. I can even move around in it like that. Or on the right, if I click on that and I could see the current version, but I could also go back in time. So let's do that. Let me click on one back here. And you can see it goes back to this previous version. You can see there's dark windows here. There's nothing beyond this version. I only have two. I can use the bar on the right to actually look at other versions. If, say, I've been working on this document for a long time, I'll have more versions back there. I can even look in these old documents and navigate around in them, even copy in things from them to paste later on. Um, I can actually restore to this document if I want. I can jump it back to the current document hit done to leave that. So that's how I look at the different versions of what I have. Now I can continue to create new versions. Every time I create, do enough in changes I just do command S again like I did there and I'll have yet another version changed. Uh, and what will happen is uh, as I hit command S and also automatically every hour a new version will be changed. So eventually I'll have dozens even hundreds of versions of the document if I've been working on it for a long time. Now, say I want to save as, the old save as. Well, you notice there is no way to do that, just save a version. But duplicate's the way to do that now. Hit duplicate, and now I have two windows open, a test and test copy. And notice with test copy, the frontmost window and open, now it goes back to the save dot dot dot, and it's going to ask me to save it with a new name. So basically, to duplicate how I used to do save as, you do file duplicate, and then immediately save that. I'm going to quit that right there. And uh, and I can also do revert to saved here in file and it will bring me here to these previous versions. And another thing that you may be interested in knowing how to do is the auto save. So the auto save doesn't appear anywhere here either. Um, that's because it kind of works automatically. So let's say I type 4 and immediately quit. So notice it didn't ask me to save. I just added a new word. An hour didn't pass and certainly uh, I didn't hit command S. So if I rerun pages now you can see it actually saved that. It's constantly saving. Kind of like how iMovie has been working for a long time now. But there's no save function. It just saves as you go along. So that's how auto save works. It won't save a new version. It just basically lets you to resume immediately with the document you were, you were on without having to save and quit. You just quit. The save is assumed. So another thing I want to show you is locked documents. So notice the test there has a little padlock next to it. When I open it up in pages, it'll open up fine, and you'll see that it says locked up here. I can unlock it to continue to edit it and make changes. Um, this will happen automatically after about two weeks. If you haven't touched a document, a document that's kind of old, it'll lock it for you automatically so you don't accidentally change an old document. Um, it also will show old documents before you upgrade it to Lion. Uh, as locked. So you simply have to look for the locked up here at the top, hit unlocked, 
and now you can edit the document as before. So there's a quick look at versions, works in pages, numbers, keynote, and also text edit and more applications. It's open for all developers to add versions functionality to their apps. So you expect to see it rolled out in some of your favorite applications over the next months. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page, and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.